Hi everyone, I'm Margaret Smith. I'm content editor of Worcester Magazine. And today I am with Adele Mejia. Um, thank you so much, first of all, for joining us. Adele is the Youth Poet Laureate here in the city of Worcester. He's taken the time to come down to our office and um, he's gonna read a poem. And I understand this is a poem that you wrote specifically for Black History Month, correct? Correct, I wrote this poem on February 1st. It is one of my newest poems. I was feeling very inspired, especially with all that's going on in America right now. Okay, can why don't you, if you would tell us the name of the poem, and then we'd love it if you could read the poem for us, please. Sounds great. So yes, the poem name is Nothing Like Me. Here goes nothing. I'm scarred, so when I'm sad or mad with rage, I laugh hard. It's often deceiving. I don't look to the past to find meaning. You ain't see me cry about my dad leaving. Most of my friends saw me cry when I got news my mom passed. But you ain't see me grieving. All my life I've been underpaid. I stay calm and trust in fate. I was grown the day I stopped teething. I never complained about minimum wage. I didn't hide when rent called my name. I know I'm good as long as I'm breathing. I didn't resist when the cops took my wrist and got on top of my face at the bus stop for no reason. I told my fellow hood, I told my fellow hood kids to look away. The situation was more than unsafe. I can still hear the Indonesian church lady crying for faith. I never tried to attend mass, but I prayed. I didn't crack when I watched my best friend into the grave. I just waved. I spent nights in the streets because nobody wanted me on their lease. I put my tongue in my teeth when Team DCF took my niece. I showed no emotion when a piece that reeked the death was put to my head. I just gave them my sneaks and thank God I'm not dead. I didn't want to rest in peace over what I wore on my feet. I didn't weep while I laid beat over the concrete. I did what I always do, what I do best, and try my best not to care because unfortunately, Life ain't fair. 